Hey guys, as promised, I'm coming back to show you guys how to make these cheat bowls. If you don't know who I am, I'm Rhonda Nickerson from Rhonda's Creative Corner, where we teach you to make mums and wreaths and how to fix your craft. All right, so let's get started on the project. So what you're going to actually need, you can, you don't have to use the 1.5 in there, but I wanted to add, it, add something a little bit different, but I'm going to, I'm doing two different bowls. So let me show you what a cheat bowl is actually. So this bow right here is a cheat bow, okay? So you're not really tying a bow or anything like that. I'm gonna show you how to make it look really pretty, but you're not really tying anything, okay? You are gonna use some pipe cleaners. So usually a cheat bow, you can just use a 2.5 and put it down at the bottom and it's perfectly fine. But I wanted to add that uh, 1.5 just to add a little pizzazz to it, okay? So let's cut our, I'm gonna cut them at the same time. I'm going to take two of my 2.5 ribbons and I'm going to cut them at 22 inches. Between 20 to 22 inches is perfect, okay? And then I'm going to take my two 1.5s and I'm gonna cut them a little bit longer at 24. All right. All right, so you can pick whichever one you want to match with whatever. I think we'll go with that and that. How did I do that one? Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a bow on each corner over here. Okay. So I have one here. So I'm going to place the different one go here. So I don't want um, all three. It, all three bows can be the same if you don't want to use different ribbon. But I'm going to do cat a corner the same. And then over here, I'm going to do um, different. Okay. So the one that's going to actually go. So I need to switch this over. I need to do that and that and that and that so that they'll match. That's right. Okay. So you're going to need uh, however many bows you're making. You're going to need one pipe cleaner for each bow. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the pretty side down. And then you're just going to take it here. All right. And just make sure that you have about an inch that's laying over each other. Okay. About an inch. All right, and then all you're gonna do, you just do it like that. You'll fold it in, and then you're just going to pinch together, just like that. All right. And there you have some loops. All right, so I'll demonstrate again. You'll just take it and lay it out. You just wanna make sure that your loops are even on both sides. So you just take it, and if you want to, too, so you can tell, you can fold it here down the middle. So there you'll know you have your middle. You'll, oh, hold on. I think I messed that up some. Yep. So just make sure your ends are even. And then bring this down, and this will be your middle. All right. So you can see your middle there, right here. And so just bring it over each other, just like that. All right. And then you're just going to pinch it like that. And then just lift it up. If you want to check to see if they're even or not, you can just do like that. If you need to move it a little bit or whatever, you definitely can, but they're even. All right. Then I'm just going to take my pipe cleaner like that and turn it one time. Okay. So now I'm going to take this ribbon here Again, if you want to, you can get your middle. And then I'm just going to take it like this. So I got my middle. I'm going to cross here. All right, here's my middle. I can keep my finger there if I want to. I'll cross there at the middle. Cross there at the middle. You make sure that your tails are, are even. And then you'll just pinch it together. Okay, and it just depends if you want your um, bows um, or your loop shorter and your tails longer, then you definitely can do that. You can just use your middle. Let me open that back up and find our middle again. It just depends on how you want it to look. So if you want that, then you can, um, for your loops to be smaller, you just bring it in more. Okay, so if you want smaller loops, you'll bring to the center like that so you'll have longer tails understand 
So here's your center. If you want longer loops, shorter tails, then you will go out further and bring it into your middle like that. So this would be your tails. Once you gather up, it'd be a little bit shorter than that, okay? And then you'll bring it here, just like that. Look at it and see if that's how you want it. And then you'll just pinch it together, just like that. All right, see how simple that was? I am gonna do another one so that you guys will understand and get a and you can always rewind too okay always use that rewind button so i'm just going to take this i'm going to place it here i'm going to make sure that i'm holding on to my little part that that's there on that side just going to untie it and why i said just tie your uh pipe cleaner once so it'd be easy for you to take it off okay then i'm just going to grab here going to make sure that my pipe cleaners are even on each side and then I'm going to take it and just twist it three times. Okay. And there you have it. If you're not going to place anything in the middle, then you can go and add a little strip of ribbon into the middle. And it all depends. You can make your back bow shorter. It's however you want it to be. All right. Then just go in, make sure that it looks good. All right. And then I will add it in just a second. But yeah, there's your cheat All right, so let's do it one more time. All right, so let's get this one. We're gonna take it, fold it in half like this. We have our middle. So we'll open it up. Here's our middle here. We bring it over and about an inch if you want to. So you can place this bit here at a number and then just take it over to the 12 okay so i have the middle at 13 take it over to the 12 then i can bring this here and then you know you have your inch take it to the 14. all right and then you'll just pinch it together just like that easy peasy all right take our pipe cleaner like that make sure you can see where your ends are make sure that your pipe cleaner is on both of them all right there you go all right now we're going to take this one here and we'll find our center we'll fold it in half all right and then we'll just take it remember if you want longer tails and you want shorter then you'll make this part shorter if you or if you want it to be even like that you can even bring this here and you know that you need to put that there and they'll be even on both sides okay all right and you can kind of look here see if they're even you know and then you'll just take it and pinch it just like that all right i'm gonna show you one more time Take it, fold it in half. All right, you have your center. Get your loop however big you want your loop to be. All right. All right. So you take it and place it there. Take this one here as well place it down you can look at it so if you see this like this and this you know that it's not even so you know that you need to come over here and pull okay you want it to be as even as possible all right so you can even look here on the board if you want to kind of push it down you can make that even right there on the board and make sure that these come down you can use your board okay and then what you're going to do is just take it and pinch it. Okay. Just like that. All right. So if you see that you want your tails to be a little bit longer, just let your hand go and pull it a little bit like that. And pull that a little bit and get your tails a little longer. All right. All right. So I'm going to take this, 
going to place it here. Place both of the fingers. As you can see, here's the end here of this ribbon and the end there. I'm making sure that I'm placing these two fingers on there to make sure that I hold it secure and it's not going to go anywhere. I'm going to take the pipe cleaner out. Then if you guys can see, I'm just placing the pipe cleaner back through my fingers there. Okay. And then I'm just going to grab it. Make sure that that is even. Make sure everything is in place. If you want to use zip ties, you can use zip ties too. All right. Make sure it's pulled tight. And then I'm going to twist it three times. All right. And get my. So, another thing if you want your tails longer, then cut your ribbon longer than 24. You can cut it as long as you want. Usually when I do my back bows, I either do 22 to 24 inches or 20 to 24, sorry. So I either do 20, 22, or 24, just depending on what I'm doing. All right. And there's our cheek bow. That is so easy. I know a lot of you guys say that you guys struggle with making bows. So maybe this helped. Hopefully, let me know down in the comments and make sure go right now and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can do it before the video ends. You can go right there on your phone, slide up, push subscribe, or scroll on your computer and subscribe to my channel. So let's go ahead and add our cheat bows. All right. So like I said, I'm going to go catty cornered here. And so as you can see, the pipe clean or the tinsel ties underneath here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull back. Now you see when I tell you to put your ribbon in there tight, when I pulled that, my ribbon did not move at all. So you always want to make sure you push that ribbon down in there and get it really tight into your um, into your tinsel tie. So I'm just going to go here. I'm making sure that my tails on my 1.5 is towards the sign. And I'm going to go in. Take the pipe cleaner through on both sides, making sure it's on each side of the work form. I'm sorry, y'all. My chair needs some WD-40. It just kept on work, work. <laughs> if it's not my bracelet, it's my chair. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to pull that out a little bit because I do want to add a flower to it. Okay. Now look how much, look at that dimension that it adds to it. That little bit of ribbon. Let me stand up out my chair. It's just squeaky, squeaky, squeak. Now I can push the table. All right. Let's add this one. I'm gonna pull it out here. All right, take the pipe cleaner. I'm gonna place it on one side. Then what I'm doing is I'm going in between my two ribbons that I have here, right on top of the tinsel tie, and I'm just placing it down. All right, now I'm going underneath. And before I tie it down, I wanna make sure that my ribbon is in place where I want it to go. And then I'm gonna pull in a little bit. You don't have to make it sink. All right, and then let me show you what I'm doing on this side. I'm just tying it around. All right. All right. And like I said, if you're not going to add, hold on, let me scoot that up a little bit. My sign moves on. So you see how it adds to me. If you put all the same ribbon, it's perfectly fine. But I like to have one different one for sure. Okay. So there you have it. So now let's get us these little flowers. See, I just, um, I don't know if you guys saw that, but I just took one and I just took it off just like that. And all we're going to do, if you want to add more flowers than you can, I'm just opening up the center of the bow, placing some glue down, and then placing the cute little petals of the bow. I mean, petals of the flower. Or head of the flower, Lord. I need some rest. 
yeah you can add whatever you want just like we added greenery to that you can add some greenery up here if you want to you can just stick it in the uh actual tinsel tie instead of um it would put it in the bow the actual bow like we did on there yeah you can, or you can if you have some hearts you can definitely add some hearts so many possibilities that you can do all right all right, guys, so there's the cheek bow. Let me make sure that everything looks okay. See if I want to add anything else. And if I do, I'll come right back and add it. And then we'll end this video. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, you always know that I love to give you guys other ideas than other what I did in my project. So I wanted to do that. I went back to my stash and I have tons of stuff that I buy when Hobby Lobby has their sales. So this is probably maybe about from two years ago, but I still have them. I just got a whole bunch. These are like 90% off and I got them. So this is another idea that you can do. Not sure if they'll sell them this year, but I have seen them every year since I bought these. So they probably will. So you could just actually just cut this off here. And instead of adding the flower, you can go in and you can add this there. It's so many ideas. And even if you wanted to take it apart and just use the red, you could do that as well. And then put this somewhere else if you wanted to, you know, you can add it in different places. You can always add dimensions to what you're, to your projects and what you're doing. Okay. Don't be afraid to add. Just add it and then don't glue it. And then if you like it, keep it. If you don't, then take it out. All right, you can also use where you leave the stem in there and you can go in and add that there. I don't know. Let me make sure you guys can see. I don't know if you'll have it from the top. Uh oh, there goes something. I don't know. So this one is sliding back and forth. Oh, that was the, um, so I'm going to actually take this and just put a little dab of glue there so that it won't keep sliding. All right. So yeah, you can do a lot of stuff. And if you want to add a pick to it to make it go in there better, you definitely can. All right, so I'm gonna show you. Usually I wouldn't do this over my project, but I want you guys to be able to see. All right, so you would put some glue there and take it. I'm just dropping everything. And even if you wanted to use the leaf to, to hold it, you definitely could. I guess I have you some extras. Like that. Thank you, baby. Yeah. So many possibilities, guys. Don't limit, limit yourself. Don't be afraid to add. Because you can always, always take it out. go in and put some more glue and place this in between. I think me adding a pick would probably give it a little bit more stability, but I'm just going to put it right here in between the ribbons and just closing down on the ribbon. Okay. And this one is sliding. These are so old, but hey, they still look good. Nobody will know. Now, if they were chipped or something, I definitely wouldn't use it, but they still look good. So I added a little glue up there to the top where it wouldn't slide anymore. But yeah, you can definitely do that. Add these all around. Even if you wanted to do it on this part as well, you can have the little flower, then have a little this coming out right there. Because this I could definitely put in the, in the, um, the tinsel top. Sorry, I had a brain fart. My glue is like really, really hot today. It's been doing it lately. And it just slides right off. So I'm going to grab that tinsel top underneath there. Make sure I have me a little curve, a little wrap around to use. And then wrap that tinsel top around it. And give it some stability. All right. There we go. All right. So there are just some more ideas. And since I added that, I will go around and add some more to the outside ones as well. Add that and that, you know, probably do different. Put this pink one there and then add another red one there. All right. So let me show you guys. So I'm glad I got to come back and show you guys how to actually make the cheat bow. So please, if you have any questions or comments or anything, put them down in the comments below. I want to thank everybody.
who all my new subbies everybody who's been sharing the videos all the comments all the love you guys have been awesome make sure that you go and subscribe to my youtube channel if you're new here and make sure to push that notification bell as well all right if you haven't seen this video of me making this um beautiful wreath then make sure you go and see it i just posted it last week so go scroll and look at my videos i have some awesome videos for you guys all right all right guys until next time bye guys